The Fastest Way to a Woman's Heart by Edward Gerard. The setting, Zoe's apartment in a part of the kitchen and the dining room area. At rise, Zoe is bustling about the kitchen area as she cuts vegetables, reads recipes, and arranges different bottles of spices. Hi, well, you must be Roger. Hi, yes, hi. Good <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Please, have a seat. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy we can meet like this, Roger. Oh, so am I. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever even known anybody named Roger before. In fact, I know I haven't. Have you ever met anybody named Zoe? Hmm, let me see. Well, yes, I, I did know one Zoe, but she was a dog, though. That's not nice. No, <laughs> really, she was a dog, a, a small dog, four legs, cute, oh. <laughs> really cute. <laughs> <laughs> but never a person. Uh, no, you're the first. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to celebrate our first meeting, let's open up this bottle of wine. That sounds lovely. Uh, I've just started making dinner. Uh, we've got time for one glass before I have to get back to the kitchen. Um, we better hurry, though. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Ouch! Oh. You okay? Um, I'm, I'm fine. No worries. You touch yourself. Do you need a band-aid? No. No, it's, uh, it's really, it's barely bleeding. Funny, am I offering a doctor a bandage? <laughs> Ironic, yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you. What kind of doctor are you? I'm midway through my residency in cardiology. Well, then you must know the fastest way to a woman's heart. <laughs> <laughs> Through the left fourth intercostal space using a number 10 blade. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Billy gets up and goes to the kitchen and reads her recipes. Again. Can I help? Oh. No, that's a... My department. I promised I, I'd make you dinner and, and I shall. Oh, great. Thanks so much for doing this. Let me know if I can help you, though. Okay, well, you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> oh, God. So, I, I come from a small town in South Dakota where uh, there's, there's just a population of 621 people. And even there, a woman does not invite a guy to her home on, a, on the first date. <laughs> and uh, especially, well, somebody I've only met online and talked to, you know, on the phone and my mother would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm honored, really. You, well, you know what made me invite you here tonight? Well, I don't you know? want to give the wrong answer before I've had dinner. <laughs> Okay. It was what you said about the importance of home to you. Oh. I'm very traditional. I find it hard to find a man who shares my same values in this world, and I want a man who loves the sense of home, who can do a traditional man's role at home. You know, somebody who can fix things like a, a burned out light bulb or use a drill type thing and do some wiring and you know, clean off the top of the stove and do a couple odd jobs around the house, change clocks with the time change, you know, that kind of thing. That's the perfect man for me. You know, just because I'm a CPA doesn't mean that I want to balance the household finances or take the trash out, you know, or put up the Christmas lights. You know, I, I want a man that does all that, you know, willingly. That sounds like a great guy, all right. When you said that you didn't mind 
pulling your weight around the house, you know, that you like to do it. It, it was such a breath of fresh air to me. I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> you know, so many men think career is everything. And, and you know, that's just, it's not what makes a house a home. I, oh, I think I'm scaring you. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I, I know it's the first time we met. I know it's our first date. It's, believe me, I, I'm into taking things slow. I just, I want you to know that you convinced me that you were not a waste of time and, and a genuinely nice guy. <laughs> with traditional values. And, and that's why I invited you to meet me at, at my place. You know, so many of these guys online, they're not interested in anything other than dating for sex. And you were very sincere about wanting a relationship. I, I have no desire to rush into one. That's for sure. So don't let me scare you. <laughs> that, it's true. I, I am looking for a relationship. It's not easy for me to meet someone uh, with my residency schedule. I'm either at the hospital or trying to sleep. <laughs> well, okay. So I have planned the perfect traditional date. Uh, I'm going to make dinner. And here are some things you can do around the house. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it, it, it might be better if we talked and got to know each other more. A woman believes more about actions than words. And, you know, there's no faster way to a woman's heart than acts of service. So let's give this a try, shall we? I mean, it could be fun. And I'll, I'll show you. I'm the woman I said I was. And you show me that you are the man you said you were. Sure, why not? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, first on the list uh, is mm -hmm. the leaking faucet in the guest bathroom. Mm -hmm. And what you should do is make sure you don't uh, have anything fall into the drain while you're working. And you should make sure not to put any of the tools on the counter because they could damage it. The tools are in the cabinet under the sink. <laughs> okay, where's the guest bathroom? <laughs> it's a small apartment, you can't miss it. Oh. <laughs> God damn it! You okay? Fine! Okay, I'll be in the kitchen! Gary? Hello? Gary? Oh, God, I'm glad you're there. Listen, uh, I have a plumbing problem. I, I can't get the water to stop running. I can't call a plumber. I'll explain later. I, I tried that. The valve under the sink where the water is running, right? Yeah, I tried that both ways. Nothing happened. I'm afraid the sink is going to overflow. Funny. Um, when one person leaves the room and the other always texts or is on the phone. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, hold on a second, Zoe. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Gary, the valve stem uh, is building in uh, aortic pressure, and I really need someone with experience just to give me a, a, a temporary measure to stanch the flow so there isn't a full cardiac arrest. Uh, let me call you back. Uh, will you answer? Thanks. <clears throat> Sorry, Zoe, I just had to answer a question about a critical patient, and I want to make sure I handled it right. Of course. It, it is funny about the cell phone thing on dates, isn't it? You know, most of us don't have things to worry about. I wonder what everybody else calls and texts about. And, you know, I sometimes text with friends if I have a date of day. Water right in the water? Yes. Yes, it, it is. I have to keep the water flowing to clear out the pipe. Uh, just need to make sure it's draining right. The drain is fine. Well, you never know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next item on the list. You, you really do need a, a light bulb change. Same bathroom I see. And uh, the light bulb would be where? Lower cabinet in the bathroom. (laughs) 
when you say lower cabinet, there are three lower cabinets in here. Lower cabinet, not the lowest cabinet. But they're the same height. Oh, you mean drawer. Lower drawer in one of the lower cabinets. Got it. Okay, thanks. And you should make sure it's the same voltage as the others. Otherwise, you need to change them all. Uh, I'm going to go check on dinner. I'll, I'll be right back. Ah! You okay? <sighs> oh my god, what's wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. I just <clears throat> was resting between tasks. How's dinner? Uh, wait, before you answer that, uh, do you have a mop? Is everything okay? Sure. You know, you said you liked someone that did odd jobs as they came along, and I think that floor could use a, a little cleaning. Oh, wow. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> You're too good to be true. I, I have a mop. Um, it's in the storage area downstairs. The vacuum's up here if you need that. It, I just, I can't keep it up here because it's a small place. Um, oh gosh, <laughs> I'll go get the mop. Um, could you watch the food and make sure nothing burns? Sure. <laughs> Gary, Gary, Jesus Christ. I, I just electrocuted myself. I'm getting out of here, really, I am. I'm on a date. I'm on a date. That's right. I, I changed a light bulb and I got up on the counter and the, the, the sink is in and then the sink overflowed just as I, right. I got electrocuted. I, I'm okay. Thanks. But the water is overflowing on the floor and I, I still don't know how to turn it off. Yeah. Okay. I tried that though. Oh, okay. I'll try again. Water main. How the hell would I know? It's a goddamn apartment building. Nobody knows where the water main is. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm I'm calm. I'll I'll try again. You should ring it out uh, once every few passes and, and go always in the same direction just so that it doesn't streak. <laughs> uh, is it food all right? Not, nothing burning? I sure as hell hope not. No. Oh God. Sherry, I'm not sure this is going well at all. He seems nice enough, but I don't think I'd want to miss my doctor. Okay, Sherry, I called you about the dinner I'm, I'm making. I, I was worried it might burn, and now I'm worried it might never heat up in the vegetables. I, let me ask you something about the vegetables. Oh, no, you know, never mind, just text me, he's coming back. Yeah. I, um, I have to explain something. Okay. What is it? I'm not handy, uh, around the house. In fact, I'm offensively bad at fixing things. And you're a cardiologist? I'm almost a cardiologist. I'm, I'm a resident and I'll be a fine cardiologist because I can perform a stent placement doesn't mean I can repair a, a, a water heater or change out the brakes on a car. You said you were handy. You weren't honest. I didn't say I was handy. I, I, I said I liked to help out around the house. I believe my words were uh, pulling my weight. Wait a minute. You're getting into semantics. Pulling your weight and helping out around the house means fixing things, doing what a man is supposed to do. I'm not handy. I, I can take out the trash. I can make the bed. I can... Look, why am I explaining this to you? Uh, I'm not handy. I, I never said I was handy. I Look, you got me to go along with your dating experiment and we didn't work out. All right. So... Let me explain a few things to you uh, before your apartment becomes uninhabitable. I found uh, a way to shut off the water 
for the faucet, but it's not fixed. Uh, you know what I did? I thought I had turned off the water from that valve thing under the sink, but I turned it the wrong way. And I thought I had turned it the right way. The mop was for the water that spilled on the floor. Uh, the floor's fine. It'll be dry in another half hour, probably. Uh, the water faucet needs to be fixed by your next date or by a plumber, or maybe a plumber should be your next date. We won't go into my recent electrocution. Uh, here's your list back. Okay. Okay, I understand. But I'm still not sure you were totally honest with me. I can do a lot of things around the house, just like I said. I still don't know why I'm defending myself to you, and this is probably the last time I'll ever see you. Okay, I, it didn't work out. No hard feelings. Look, I'd offer you dinner, but... No, no, I understand. I, it's time for me to go anyway. I... No, that's not what I meant. I, I would still offer you dinner, but it didn't exactly turn out as I planned. You said you were a good cook. I never said I'd be a good cook. I just said I'd make you dinner because that's something I believe I should be doing. And, you know, just like the man should be doing repairs and fixing things. Well, you implied you were a good cook. You implied you were a great handyman. No, I didn't. Well, I didn't imply I was a great cook. Look, I'm a cardiologist, so I'm not going to get into your childhood and why you think things should be a certain way. That's for another kind of specialist. And I'm not gonna look up what family of wolves raised you so that you can't even change a light bulb. Well, let's move on. So the dinner didn't turn out as well as you thought, and, and but we can still have dinner and, and say farewell. What didn't go as planned? Everything. For one thing, the asparagus is, is soggy. Really? You should have blanched it. What? You should have blanched the asparagus. You plunge the spears into boiling water for about 30 seconds and then plunge them into ice water, and that stops them from overcooking. For another thing, I was making a roast and it's barely cooked. Was it at room temperature when you put it in the oven? No, it was cold, I think. Did you preheat the oven? Yeah. W what temperature? 450 degrees. Roger opens the oven. First of all, this is a turkey, not a roast. Uh, you want to slow cook it. You should have started it uh, after preheating the oven to 250 degrees. And, and you want to assure you cook so that you attain a Maillard reaction to give it a, a crust. And you can't expect to cook it in an hour, even if you're going to try to come up with a barely edible entree. Try to follow these recipes. You shouldn't follow multiple recipes to cook a single item. Look, this could still be salvageable. Do, do you have more asparagus? And the turkey isn't a total loss. Let me take over in the kitchen. <laughs> you really know what you're doing, don't you? Yep. No, you're really not what I expected at all. Neither are you. <laughs> you go ahead then. I'll take care of stuff on the list. Sure. You good at all that? I'm, I'm really good at it. <laughs> you know, I think I may have my answer to your question. What question? Do I know the fastest way to a woman's heart? Well, I guess we're making progress. What's your answer? I have no clue. <laughs> but, 